everybody. You're watching tonight's edition of Sideline Wrap Up, a packed house this evening at Spears Stadium on the campus of the Macaulay School. Then again, it's always packed when the Blue Tornado take on the Red Raiders of Baylor, one of the biggest, best, and oldest rivalries in the state. It was our Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week on the CW Chattanooga. Dave Keelan, our good friend, was a part of the broadcasting crew for that tilt. And Dave, as he usually does, joins us live now to tell us how it all went down. There he is right there. Hello, my friend. Uh, good evening. I, Dave, I'd ask you if it was a good game, but at least on, on the field, frankly, it, it wasn't really that good. Tell us about it. <laughs> Well, Dave, it depends on which side you were on. If you were on this side over here, that's the Macaulay side, it was a good night. If you were on that side, that's the Baylor side. It wasn't a very good night. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights from tonight's game. Macaulay would cap a six-play, 73-yard drive on a Rob Riddle to Rico Dozier. Over the shoulder, 28-yard touchdown pass to make it 7-0 Macaulay. Then later, Macaulay looking to capitalize on a Baylor interception. Riddle this time to Walker Fannin. He makes the shake and bake. Stiff arm, 49 yards down the sideline. That would make it 14 to nothing, McCauley. Then one more to end the first quarter. Riddle to Rico Dozier, his favorite target. 15-yard touchdown pass, 21 nothing, McCauley. It's Riddle's third touchdown pass of the quarter. Then in the second quarter, Riddle looking to do it on the fourth and goal. Keeps it on the ground, three-yard touchdown to make it 28 nothing to McCauley. That would be your score at the half. McCauley would make it 35 to nothing as we would go to the mercy rule, but Baylor would get on the board. Trustin McCarter looks downfield to Gunnar Ricketts for the 85-yard touchdown pass. That's the only score that Baylor would have for the game. McCauley would score once more to make it 42 to 7. We caught up with Coach Ralph Potter after the game, and we talked about his quarterback, Rob Riddle's play. We told Rob before the game, look, we're, going, we're probably going to throw about the first 15 plays and try to establish that. And, you know, he's playing at a level right now that uh, is pretty high. Um, that was the first interception he's thrown all year, you know, in the third quarter, with the second quarter. And so he's really, um, you know, heck, if somebody doesn't give him a college scholarship after the, the throws he's made the last three weeks, and something's wrong. Yards, and yeah, doesn't make the well, Macaulay improves to five and two on the season. Baylor, they fall to five and two on the season as they will continue on through region play. Next week, Friday Night Rivals hits the road as we'll go into the Sequatchie Valley as we head to Whitwell as the Tigers will host the South Pittsburgh Pirates. Reporting live from the Macaulay School for Sideline Wrap-Up, I'm Dave Keelan. Nothing like good old-fashioned Valley football. Thank you, Dave. Dave Keelan reporting from Macaulay. Blue Tornado, big-time winners tonight over the Raiders.